All right, good morning guys. Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 31st of May, and today we are six days out from show. Just woke up feeling extremely weak after yesterday's low day. Calories totaled out at 1800 yesterday, even with the drop in cardio that was 30 minutes on the incline walk from 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. Steps yesterday were around 8,000 because Callum dropped them from 10,000 to 8,000. Me and Jordy just took George for a walk on the evening to try and hit those steps. But today, Day after the substantial low day I'm feeling extremely me, me and Jordy were just laying in bed we were just like we do not want to do today this is the reality of peak week um, the depletion and I'm feeling a lot lighter today so right now we're gonna weigh myself go downstairs take some check-ins for Callum so he can see what I'm looking like and he will devise the plan for the day got my scale and um, this is the scale that I'm wearing myself with consistently like you know while I'm at my dad's house just so it's accurate and I can't put it on the bathroom tiles because the tiles are so uneven the weight isn't accurate so I'll put it outstairs and, like on the landing it's like just flat laminate floor so it's accurate oh my god 199.8 pound that's two pound down from yesterday that means in the past two days I've dropped four pound <laughs> oh my god the goal was to step on stage around 200 pound and the fact that we're now sub 200 means that we are definitely going to bring a condition to the stage that i have never ever brought before because we estimated me and callum that i'd gain about 10 pound of muscle last stage weight being 191 pound which is where the 200 around 200 pound estimated competition weight came from now we're in uncharted waters we are getting to a condition that i've never been before so i actually have no idea what stage weight will be at this point because we're still six days out there's still a little bit of fat on the midsection to lose and on the lower back but everywhere else i mean we still have like the couple days out peak week protocols to utilize to dry out and become super grainy for the show day there are loads of tricks still in our pockets but in terms of weight wise i have no idea where i'm going to be now we're going to go on ourselves do a physique update show you what i'm currently looking like six days out and then uh see what callum's saying It's so cold outside, it's crazy. My hair is a mess. <laughs> I feel like the fact that it is so cold, it doesn't help with me looking flat right now because not only did I just get out of bed, it's freezing cold. There is zero vascularity. No pump happening right now. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go through some poses and um, yeah, see what I'm looking like. Can you feel it wrapped around your soul with no gun? You can't breathe when you're drowning under water. There's so much water. I'll run, I'll hide. Darkness always falls from mine. That's it, that is the physique. I'm noticing that posing is getting considerably easier and easier and easier the more that I'm doing it, especially with all the cardio training that I've been doing this entire prep. Posing is now becoming a lot easier just because I'm usually practicing my posing either post cardio or post workout, which means I'm already pretty like tired after either cardio or the workout. So then practicing posing and doing it on stage will be that much easier just because I've practiced when I'm already taxed. But backstage, I'll be fresh, ready, endorphins, emotions. Posing on stage will be just that much easier. As I've realized, I remember a clip at the beginning of prep, I'm actually gonna insert it right now, of me posing for my very first check-in at the beginning of this prep. Oh my God. How's that posing going? I'm out of breath. Oh You're God. a little bit out of breath there, mate. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Were you like mocking me? Did you lose your finger or something? So as you can see, there is quite a big difference in my ability to breathe after posing right now. Considering we just went through a few rounds and I'm, I'm pretty good. But that's what I'm currently looking like. I'm gonna send those check-in pictures now to Callum. Cause like I said, we took pictures as well as the video and await his plan for the day. But first, we have something very important to do. <laughs> Cheers. Now we can start the day. Officially start the day. What's happening? Is this, is that your new meal plan? Yeah, this is my new meal. Yo, break down the macros of your new meal. All the protein, all the carbs, some fat, and some water. Mm. Like, it actually smells good. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think it does. Do you want this? Is this breakfast? Thank you. Wait, three, two, one. Go. <laughs> I thought that was your breakfast. <sighs> My bad. I oh, just yeah. like decided to give it to the dog. Sacrificing the macros. My macros are going to the dog. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to get a tape measure. Why do you spread your Pull. Pull. No, no, just the one. Pull. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Walking out the house right now to go to the gym to do some cardio, pick up the flavored water, potentially another monster. And I just received the voice message from Callum um, with the plan for the day. So I'm gonna listen to that in the car and let you know what we're doing. What's it like being with Callum? Cause I explained at the end of my last video that Geordie is now part of the Muscle Mentors. I am very, very happy right now because my base diet, which I haven't been on for the last two days because I've been having high days because my body is under so much stress from um, all the intense cardio and the low calories and stuff like that, I'm very, very happy because I am only up like 0.4 pounds, which is good because glycogen levels are holding high, but now it's time to deplete a little bit more. Explain but. why it's important to give the body a break. Basically right now I am dealing with a hypothyroid, which I got tested before I left Canada because I knew that my body wasn't responding properly because it is so stressed. Your body is going to reject. Going These to buds. I'm offended, sirs. Dude, shut up. There we go. Woo. <laughs> um, but when I trust a coach, I'm literally just going to throw myself into that and I'm going to follow the plan to a T. So that's just like how I live. But now we've got Callum in the ropes. Callum is killing it and I'm very, very happy. And I literally, when I found out that I was going to have like a high day in general, I actually almost like started crying. Brandon looked at me and I was like, I'm not okay because I I'm know the so feels. happy. I know the <laughs> so I feel like one thing that's really important to take away from that is like when you're pushing and pushing and pushing on a prep or a diet, you know, sometimes you can push too hard and you can do too much and sometimes giving the body like a little bit of a rest like literally just something as simple as taking like two days off the gym two days off cardio a little bit of a diet break meaning a, a slight influx of calories nothing crazy but just a little bit can actually stop a plateau of weight loss if you're not dropping weight anymore because the problem with Geordie is she was doing all this cardio and all this training and on these low calories but her weight was not dropping at all influx of calories cardio decrease and the weight started to fall off the body is more complicated than we can even imagine you know through trial and error we can figure it out oh my god open freaking prep let's see what the plan is this is what Callum is saying everything for today now you can scrap cardio this morning and it will just be 8k steps for the day uh, no, no cardio. cardio this morning so if you want to go and take the dog out for a little walk this morning just make sure your total step count for today is 8,000 total we have that push set up so just run chest and triceps today uh, sometime this afternoon and then get some posing done post workout and then this will be the last two days on the base diet so we've basically got chest tries today back buys tomorrow Wednesday will be a rest day which is our first day of loading two high days Wednesday and Thursday and then we go back to depletion to flush the fluid out and just dry over on Friday and Saturday back at baseline we get that posing session done and upper pump session done on the Friday just to partition everything and move back to baseline high 198s we've just got to consider the fact that we are going to have to put food in this week um, otherwise you're going to drop too low conditions not going to budge now all you need to do is just basically fill out those glycogen stores and make sure we're holding enough fullness moving into the weekend and we've always got you know if we're loading on Wednesday and Thursday the show's not until Sunday so we've always got Friday and Saturday to kind of find our set point again condition wise if the a little bit of fluid will go on if carbohydrates going and of course but we've got Friday and Saturday to shift that to come in as and hard as, as dry as possible on, on Sunday so that's the that's the word from the coach considering Geordie is doing cardio I'm just going to do a leisurely walk on the treadmill like no incline just a walk um just so it is the same as steps the steps that I will be doing will just be on a treadmill two more days on baseline diet at 2400 calories which is today and tomorrow Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday 
Thursday, we have loading days. Might just be 500 or 600 carb. Again, same as previous refeed days. Refilling glycogen source because that just take 24 hours to 46 hours to actually absorb into the muscle, which will be perfect. Meaning that show day, we will be conditioned. We'll be holding no water and hopefully the muscles will be refueled, ready to present on stage because right now we are pushing for condition. We are becoming extremely flat as you saw from this morning's check-ins. This is what has to be done. It's kind of nice that we're not like doing intense cardio because I'm absolutely screwed this morning. Geordie still has a bit of cardio though, so. It's I'm, only 40 minutes though. So. I'm there for moral support basically. And then we have training and posing. We'll show you that later. Am I good? Yeah. And can you grab me a regular one too? Yeah. Monster? Um, you're not allowed? Are you allowed? I'm allowed. I'm gonna get a Costa coffee after though. Oh, I might the, have two then. The more the merrier. Thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Steps are done. Geordie's cardio is done. We're outside at Tesco Extra because I thought, being bank holiday, that this wouldn't be open. But it turns out that Tesco is always open because people like to buy barbecue stuff, alcohol, treats, snacks, all that kind of stuff for a bank holiday. Typically in the UK, this is when no one goes to work and everyone just celebrates and gets drunk all day. Or they go out and drink on Saturday and Sunday because they can, because they can rest all day on Monday. Which just means more barbecue, more food. If you watched the last video, Geordie needs cauliflower rice. And I need some, maybe some little bits as well. So we're at Tesco and we're going to pick up those things. Cauliflower rice. Here's a macro hack. We'll be with you shortly. I hate self-service. <laughs> Assistant, please. You have to be 25 to buy a monster. Scan your club card. And remember, <laughs> we save five pounds. We actually save money? We save five pounds. Damn. Being a member. Get your Tesco club card, people. You know, if the weather wasn't nice, if it was raining, I'd feel like I was on the edge of death. Now we're gonna actually have some breakfast. I feel like the time, it's like half 12 right now. I'm like purposely leaving meals until like later on in the day so I can like have meals in a short period of time, as you know. We're also gonna need a coffee for me. And we have to pick up coffee for Geordie. Yep. I'm like dragging my feet, <laughs> literally. My calves are skinny right now. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't done it yet, hard body knee sleeves. First link in the description down below. If you buy knee sleeves, I will have energy. You will be giving me 500 grams of carbs every pair of knee sleeves that you buy. So buy them all. <laughs> we are outside enjoying this lovely weather. Breakfast, we got the bowl of oats, omelette with this Califit ketchup, which is a lot better than the Skinny Food Co ketchup. You know what the breakfast is by now. I thought like, cause it is so nice right now, I'd enjoy this outside instead. Mm. And considering it's a bank holiday, we have to train a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna eat this breakfast and then go to the gym by about 3 30, 4 o'clock because it shuts because it's bank holiday at 6 o'clock. Every single workout now has been like perfectly mapped out for the next week. These workouts now are my final workouts before stage, so I'm gonna eat this right now, do some work, and I'll probably see you guys again at the gym. We're gonna start on the free weight stuff. I'm gonna start with some incline dumbbell press because the free weight strength is slowly declining more and more and more. I'm gonna be utilizing a lot of machines in this workout just because like my ability to press a lot of weight right now, my chest is the thing that gets the weak is the fastest and we're in peak week so this is the weakest i'll probably ever be the main goal is to just drive blood into the muscle trying to keep it as full as possible without you know pulling something or injuring myself in some way so right now we have to be safe and just chase a pump all i need is 10 more minutes 10 more minutes with you let me give it all one last shot Will I ever get through to you? Oh, am I wasting my time? Should I leave for the night? It's unclear at the moment Can you give me a sign? I'm here trying and trying I need ten more minutes with you So let me know if you give up hope Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you give up hope by now Again, up. 
All right then guys, so it is currently the next day right now. Today's been such a busy day so far already. We are currently five days out as of today. This is obviously the six days out video. But got back from the gym last night, prepared a lot of things for today because today is the day we're actually going to my coach's place. So we've had washing to do, food to shop for, bags to pack, all the kind of stuff. So last night was extremely busy. And of course, vlogging today as well. We're actually picking Zane up from the train station in the next two hours. It's a little bit of hair. I've, I haven't showered or anything. I did cardio and yeah, it's been busy. <laughs> right now, I'm going to address the title of the video which is something along the lines of like things have to come to an end and i'm going to talk about what is coming to an end at five days out because this is something that i've been thinking about for a long time it's a hard decision to make it's been one that has been like playing on my heart for a while and, and by no means is there any specific individual reason for this decision it's mainly based on me staying true to what i believe in and what i see for my future business opportunities and things that i have planned for the future i'm gonna sit down real quick and just tell you what it is it is an absolutely amazing day outside today it's really hot again today which is honestly making these prep days a lot easier considering we can just go outside walk george <laughs> get our steps in and stuff and i'll be like locked inside the house but the thing that has to come to an end it's not prep it's not my relationship it's not anything that you may have thought um, this title was about but it's actually the end of my partnership and relationship with HD Muscle. I joined HD Muscle on the 17th of January 2020 so it's been about a year and a half now as their first ever athlete. The reason I joined HD Muscle was because I hadn't been working with the supplement company for about two years and I really liked the idea of joining a company from the very very beginning to see where it would go. I moved to Canada and started training at Pure Muscle and Fitness at the very beginning of the start of that company Company, and it sounded like an incredible opportunity and it was getting the chance to meet everyone that is on the HD muscle team Noah and Dorian the brothers that own the company they are honestly incredible people and I wish them nothing but the best because they're amazing people the team that stands behind HD muscle the foundation are just full of incredible people I personally have just decided to part ways with HD Muscle for many reasons, some personal, some not personal. Some are to do with plans in the future, opportunities that have arisen and will be taking place over the next month or so. Loads of honestly like really exciting things because I don't see this as like the end and like a sadness. I don't see this as a negative in any way, shape or form other than the fact that I won't be working with HD Muscle anymore because it was an incredible experience. But based on things moving forward, there are so many amazing things that are happening, things I'm excited to tell you things that I'm excited to announce but for that to happen I have had to end things with HG Muscle which is kind of sad it's why it was hard to make this decision um, but it has been made with my best interest at heart this is truly something that is going to lead on to only more positive things in the future and it's, it's kind of weird just like it's kind of weird talking about it. it's kind of weird vlogging it trying to explain why because there's so many individual reasons about why i've made this decision but i do want to preface and make it known and just like solidify it in your mind that there is nothing that hg muscle did wrong they haven't wronged me in any way they didn't do anything wrong i didn't mess up they didn't mess up it's literally just a personal choice we've ended things in a fantastic way they wish me the best for my shows and the future and i've wished them the best as well for their future of their company which is only an exciting thing because when one door closes another one shall open and i'm very excited about the future that is what has come to an end not <laughs> not prep imagine that i'm like in peak week and i'm like guys 
I just can't do this anymore. I can't prep. I'm, I'm currently learning to live in this kind of condition because I haven't been this lean before. Every day I feel like a zombie and I, I'm, I'm truly like learning what I'm capable of as an amateur bodybuilder because I am I am an amateur bodybuilder. I've only ever won one show. I play second three times, third once, and I'm about to try and go for a pro card. So I am very much an amateur. I don't have a ton of experience and this condition is something that I've never been in before. So I'm learning more and more about what I'm capable of every single day. The journey of the past 16 weeks is so many things have happened with you know my brand hard body experiences meeting new people pushing myself to new boundaries and just like going to different countries just so many things and there are also so many new things in the future to be excited about that is what i wanted to tell you i've actually wanted to tell you this now for the past two weeks i've just not really known how to say it that's that's it i have so much to do today um i have to start my five days out vlog this is gonna be the end of the six days out video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video please smash a like do me a favor turn on post notifications and subscribe Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next episode of Hard Body Shredding which will be five days out which is today. Peace.